Yeah. Ruth, can, you, can you show everyone your English, your, your American accent? Uh, yeah. It's really, it's amazing. It's really hard to do it just like out no, of the block when people, when people are waiting to hear like a Scottish vowel or something, where they're waiting to hear it go wrong, right? <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? What do you want? Uh, sorry, I'm uh, My name is Valeria. I'm from the city. And from the city? Yeah. Like New York City? Yeah. Do you like my accent? Yeah. yeah? Are you fixing to ask me a question? Yes, I'm going is to ask. Right? Uh, isn't Tampa? You have to say Tampa like that. You can't say Tampa. That's wrong. Tampa? Florida? But he said, hmm, another redhead. <laughs> so this, this would be you as this for. Hey, Rowena. <laughs> hey, Red. Do you want to be the king and queen of hell with me? <laughs> that was my fantasy. That's what Rowena wanted. You yeah. there. on Supernatural. Ooh, wow, Matthew. <laughs> I have to go with my my lovely lady, Amy Gemenick. Are you sure? Young Mary. Are you sure like she's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> asking the question? Oh, I, I, you know what? I've never been so certain. And you know who, you know, I'm really not a, not a fan of uh, that other, oh, I can't remember her name. Um, do you guys, there's a ready, ready? Yeah, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Abaddon. Abaddon, yeah, Abaddon. Yeah. Abaddon. Yeah. Abaddon's like second to the last on the list, but you know. Uh, oh, no, there's another ready character. Um, Charlie? Charlie? Oh, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, yeah. Charlie? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, but, like, who's your favorite? <laughs> I'm a big fan of the, of the, the one redhead that Rob mentioned, not so much the other one. <laughs> I like that little witch, Rowena. <laughs> she's adorable. You've got good taste. <laughs> I like your valley girl accent. I know. He's like your favorite. It's so, Ruth is so teeny tiny that I could not that, see That like her. the microphone hit her. <laughs> like she was just like right. I mean, it's really, she really pulled one over on us, and I had no yeah. idea it was her. And it was a good, it was a good accent. Yeah. Like, if I tried, we're like, went to the microphone, and was like, gonna pretend to be Ruth. Yeah. And was like, yeah. oh, there's asshole Cohen yeah. doing a bad impression. <laughs> I'm not good at accents anyway, but I especially can't do Scottish. I just no. can't do it. I'm not even gonna try, and I want to right no. now. I want to so bad. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! No. Do it! <laughs> um, I don't know that my Scottish is. is Accent I like is to very hear good. Scottish. No, it, it, <laughs> Ro, Rowena. Ro, do it. Rowena. <laughs> Terrible. It sounded like it was like a Cuban accent with a Scottish. Rowena. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you saying, Matt? Stop rolling all the letters in the thing. Rowena. Too much coco. Oh, bollocks. She says bollocks a lot. Bollocks. I don't know. I, think I just hate my voice. So yeah, I don't know. Wait, is there a real oh, question? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm from Winston-Salem. Oh, I just was there. Wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't able to make it to that. I wish I could have, but... but you're here now. Yeah. That's what counts. Yeah. So, I want to say that I really like your accent, but um, my but, dad... But, 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 <laughs> what? Yeah, my dad, um, when he first when he saw his first scene, like, with you, he said that there was no way that could be your real accent <laughs> because it sounded like it was really overdone. So... <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> so my question was, what is the most Scottish thing that you can say? <laughs> Ocht. Ocht, I. Yes, daughter. You've buggered me up. Ya yeah, total. Tumshi. Tumshi is Scottish for turnip. You're welcome. <laughs> it's so funny. When I started playing Rowena, because I know she's a baddie, 
or, you know, she's not a baddie. People would think she was a baddie, right? Uh, that I was prepared for a lot of backlash online and I didn't, really didn't see very many nasty things at all. But the, the worst, most insulting thing I saw was somebody saying, she's not really Scottish, that accent's totally cod. <laughs> was that your dad? No. It's my question. No. And what's his name? And is Mike. he still in Winston-Salem? <laughs> he's, I live at home, so, and his, his name is Mike. So. Mike? Mm -hmm. Tell him he's due a heat butt. Do you know what that means? No, well, I'm not going to tell you. These are the I, like, I like your tartan trousers, by the way. I did this for you. You Canadians call it plaid. <laughs> With my fringe. You, you guys call it bangs, which I think is really weird. <laughs> bangs, like a bang of hair. <laughs> I just don't understand. A fringe, like a bit of fringing makes sense because your fringe is like a bit of fringe. <laughs> Why are you calling it bang? I mean, no offence, I know I'm a guest in your country, you know? I don't understand that reference. <laughs> in America, like, your fanny is like your tush, right? Okay, in Scotland, that's not UK. that. <laughs> so in my first episode with Bob Singer was directing his executive producer, I'm like, oh, this line, you know, in Scotland, we'd be more likely to say things like, you know, total fanny or complete Egypt, like we see Egypt, not Egypt. And um, he went, well, we can't see Egypt because we see Egypt. And I went, well, total fanny then? And he was like, okay. <laughs> so it got past the American censors and I get so many congratulatory <laughs> messages on Twitter. <laughs> and I did it for Scotland. <laughs> I did it for everyone back home. I got total fannies into my first speaking episode of Supernatural. <laughs> So I have no idea what they're going to do when it e airs on E4 this year. I don't know the magic. They're going to bleep it. Bleep, bleep. And then, just what are you saying? Have you heard this? Do you say this here? Tell me. Uh, we say, I'll say it really Scottish. We say, what's for you will not go by you. What is for you will not go by you. No, what's meant to happen to you won't. Do you say that? No. You didn't say it? Oh, Mike, can I get you all to say it and I'll record it? Sure. That's gonna happen. <laughs> ha ha ha. You thought you were gonna be relaxing Sunday? Okay, so, quits. This is your Scottish lesson number one. You're welcome. Quits. Far. Ye. All. No. Go. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. okay. Yeah, more <laughs> practice. Uh, what's far you'll no go by you? What's far you'll no go by you? That's so good! <laughs> Excited. Okay. Start my video. Okay, it's starting. Hi, we're live. Hi, say hi. hi. Okay, we're in Minneapolis. But it's weird, it's like I'm, I've arrived in this strange twin planet where I've got an auditorium full of Scottish people <laughs> who have some really good life advice for you. What is it, you guys? <laughs> that was awesome. My mum's going to be so proud. <laughs> is it your side? It's my turn. Hey, Hi. your turn. Good. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a two-part question. I know I'm, it's not being fair. But if I forget the first part, but the time you answer the second part, you'll have to do it again. Just if, just okay. If I'll pause I. in between. It'll be great. <laughs> All right. So the first part is, um, as a Southern woman, woman myself, it took me a long time to really embrace my accent and and oh. be, you know, proud of it and and what I come from. Um, have you always embraced your beautiful accent, or were there any difficulties in that? Um. So. Uh, what I'm fain <laughs> near Bonnie Brig, uh, folk can talk a bit like that. And, it's a, and uh, my mum was a teacher, and I was like, she used to say, say your T's and say your letters. And um, I was, you know, was taught to speak properly for Scotland. And a lot of newsreaders come from where I come from because you can you can't actually understand me, right? I'm also speaking more slowly because. 
I got tired of people saying, what? <laughs> Richard Spate does that to me all the time. What? <laughs> um, uh, so when I went to drama college in London, I remember auditioning for RADA and I was, had a call back, which was really exciting. RADA is like our, oh gosh, what's it like? Juilliard, right? And um, in the audition, they were like, can you lift your accent off more? Can you lift your accent off more? Can you lift your accent off more? And I remember thinking, I, uh, oh, this isn't a good thing that I have a Scottish accent. It, it's, a, it's a hurdle. It's, it getting in, it's going to get in the way of me being employed in England. Uh, and then I thought, oh, fuck England. I'll go to America. <laughs> And, um, and, and I, do, I mean, I'm being funny. My house is in London. I love, I, I, I love where I went. I love, I love England. I love my, I love my country. Uh, and I, I mean that I, um, Scottish people can be quite angry <laughs> against English people. Um, but coming to America has been the most amazing thing because people here are like, wow, I love your accent. And so it's like, the further away I go from home, the cooler I am. <laughs> and people are like, I love your accent. I'm like, I can't help it. <laughs> and I get so much kudos and brownie points uh, for just talking. It's amazing. And my first well-paid job in America was doing the voice match for Merida in Brave. And... Um, as somebody who used to almost stutter, stammer with nervousness of speaking and someone who was never told they had a great voice, for my name to be on a Disney Pixar contract for voice work, I was like, I'm in the right country now. I'm being appreciated. <laughs> so, um, the, two part. So, that's the, see, this is when you need to learn to ask short questions to me. <laughs> it goes on and on. Go on. The second part's really quick. Okay. If you could address my friend Stella in the audience, who is frightened to death of coming up here, uh -huh. but if you could just say, Stella, keep your hands off of Fergus, I would really appreciate it. Where is she? It. Uh, she is over there with cat ears on. She's, She's over there with cat ears on. Which one does that narrow it down to? Stella! Keep your hands off Fergus. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Sam. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Sam. Hi. Sam. Yes. Sam. Exactly. <laughs> Sam. How am I doing? Is it pretty good? It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> I, I'm from Cleveland, and my question is, when you came to America, like, what was your biggest cultural shock of coming here? Hi. <laughs> Saying hi over here. Um, my biggest cultural shock was that when I would say, and I'm not, I'm not being funny, I'm being really truthful, when I would say, the waiter or waitress would say, what can I get you to drink? And I would say, water. And I'd go, what now? <laughs> but if I say water, I get water. If I say water, I get what? I'm like, I'm saying the tea. I'm saying the tea. Uh, and it's quite funny now, um, I, I get confused now, in my witching hour yesterday I was like, do I say Z or Z, or I get mixed up now between what's American and what's Scottish, because I've been here so long. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi, Jai. Say Jay, Jai, I don't know, I don't know, what, what's, what do you say in America? You say Jay. 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 I think we say Jai, I think. Jai? By process of elimination. I know one thing you say that I. we don't say. You say, air hostess. <laughs> I was telling a story about an air hostess crying, and I got reprimanded by Richard. How do you reprimand for, for making her cry or for saying hostess? <laughs> air, oh. air, okay. air hostess. I didn't care about her feelings. I was more worried about the word hostess. Pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Stuart? Thank you for your question. Yeah, Rich always said Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. 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 <laughs> what do you say? Uh, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Is that... Flight attendant. Flight attendant, I don't say, but listen, when you say it's very magical, the air hostess. The air hostess. The hostess. Because he's hosting literally the air itself. 
cute job. Sounds like. It sounds it sounds a more ethereal job. Um, how many stolen items did you hand out? Well, I think only four or five. Only one was really appreciated. Okay, well, honest. I just want you to know that um, it's lovely as it is that Ruth gives you gifts. A lot of these things are filmed, as you know, and you now are, are complicit in a crime and liable for prosecution. Ladies and gentlemen.